we deplore violence. Um, I, I, you know, the idea that, that people would do something violent, um, even in the protest, I, is um, something that we don't want to see either because we believe it violates that same idea of, of people made in the image of God. As protests continue for the ninth straight day since George Floyd's death, pastors in our community are hoping to ease tensions by relying on faith. Keandria Malloy has that story. As protests and riots are growing daily due to these ungodly incidents, residents are in need of finding the peace to bring our country together as one. As Christians, we recognize that every person is made in the image of God. And because they're made in the image of God, then um, they are worthy of respect. And anytime we see a situation where um, someone is not being treated with the respect that they deserve, then that's something that we mourn. Pastor Phillips also says fear and frustrations are understandable at this time. We deplore violence. Um, I, I, you know, the idea that, that people would do something violent, um, even in the protest, I, is um, something that we don't want to see either because we believe it violates that same idea of, of people made in the image of God. Former pastor David Addy believes people are welcome to voice their opinions, but initially have lost the sight of what love really is. I think we all have a, have a right to voice our opinion. Uh, and, and I, I definitely think that what is uh, the, the the murder was was wrong, uh, but I I think that right that right to voice our opinion uh, ends when it begins to endanger somebody else's property or somebody else's life. As individuals, we just need to uh, to love each other. Now, officials encourage residents to be patient, stay positive, and press on to better days. I'm Keandria Malloy in Meridian.